Merry Christmas and welcome to the Londonist Christmas video. We're here to tell you about five London Christmas facts that perhaps you didn't know. So the first Christmas card was sent in 1843 by Henry Cole and he's a bit of a creator himself. He came up with the V&A teapot as well as postage stamps and something that, if you're in the know, in that same year, Charles Dickens wrote A Christmas Carol. Oh wow, thanks Vicky! Did you know that the doleful Christmas Carol in the bleak midwinter was written by a Londoner, Christina Rossetti, in 1872? And the words to the carol were later put to music by another Londoner, Gustav Holt. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. In the bleak midwinter, something, something moan. <laughs> Those were the original lyrics. <laughs> Christmas lights in London are loved by many and they first started on Oxford Street in 1959 and in Regent Street in 1948. However, during the 70s, in order to save money, they were switched off and in 78, Prince Charles decided to switch them back on. Thankfully, there's been no blackout this year. You may be surprised to know that Cliff Richard wasn't the first person to sing Mistletoe and Wine. It was a song originally from a 1970s musical version of Hans Christian Andersen's The Little Match Girl. The writers intended it to have a satirical edge, but in the years following, good old Cliff turned it into a more wholesome Christmas tune that we all know and switch off today. We're rolling it back to the 1840s where Tom Smith invented the Christmas cracker. Everyone knows inside you get a pointless gift, a hat and the ever so lame joke. If you're an enthusiast, you can always go to Finsbury Square and find out where their former factory used to be. Do you want to pull this? Ready? Oh, <laughs> Sorry. So those were your five London Christmas facts. We all hope you're having a very Merry Christmas Day and everyone at Londonist would love to wish you as well. In fact, here they are. A 